I just want to ask right off the bat, you got a 16-year-old and a just-turned 18-year-old. What are the chances that they will get no bail? I can't really speak to what, what whether they will or won't. I, what I can tell you is that there will be a lot of different factors that the judge will look at with each individual uh, juvenile. The first uh, juvenile, I believe, was 17 at the time of the crime and has turned 18 since. So that may be a factor that the judge considers. Uh, the other juvenile is 16. Lots of things will be considered by the judge, like um, the, the seriousness of the crime, the ties that they have to their community, any kind of history that they have uh, criminally or otherwise. And it'll be solely up to the judge whether they get bond or not. So. Let's talk about a little bit of the background on these kids. And again, we wouldn't know it unless they were charged as adults. But at least uh, Jesus Ayala has a record as long as your arm and then some. Uh, and I was curious about how it works when you have juvie records and an adult proceeding. Do they take into account the juvenile behavior leading up to this adult crime? I think that that is definitely going to be something that's up to the judge and, and up to Nevada state law as to whether or not the judge can, can consider that. Um, I, I know that that is something that's being discussed publicly. I'm just not sure whether or not that is something that the court can consider. So the, trying them together, does it make any difference? I mean, to, I couldn't even understand why they would be tried separate in the first place. This is the same crime in the same car. They're charged with the same thing. It's one person's murder. Why, why a separation of these cases? And do you expect that they will likely be tried together? Would it make a difference? My understanding is that the two of them were arrested at different times, which resulted in them seeing different judges for their initial appearances. Uh, I think that whether or not they are tried together will be governed by, again, Nevada Joinder Law, uh, where the, the district attorney can elect to try all of the crimes that they believe occurred at the same time with the same types of facts together, and they can uh, decide to charge them together as co-defendants. At any time during this proceeding, all the way up to trial, if their lawyers feel like one or, or both of them are prejudiced by this, they will move to sever, and it will be the court's determination whether or not they are prejudiced so much that they can't be tried together. Well, now I'm going to really test all your time on the bench. Um, you know, there was a weird thing that came out in the press today, and I, I can't make sense of it. That's not saying a lot. But the, the DA was asked if the death penalty would be sought. I have always known the Supreme Court has said you cannot execute minors and you can't automatically sentence them to life without parole. Doesn't mean they can't get life, no parole. They just can't get automatic. But the answer was weird. Um, the DA said it's too early to make a determination on the death penalty. Does that mean because Jesus Ayala is now 18? Because the crime was committed when he was 17, which is still a minor. Can you sort that out for me? My understanding is the same as yours, Ashley, that if the, at the time of the crime, a person under the age of 18, the United States Supreme Court in 2005 was definitive that that, 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 that mm -hmm. person can executed for that for that crime and unless there is some nuance in Nevada state law that I don't know about and and that certainly could be the case but I'm I agree with you on that uh, the the Supreme Court's been very clear that juveniles are not to be executed in 2015 Nevada actually enacted legislation that bars um, life without parole for juveniles as well so um, I, I'm not quite sure either I saw that in reports and I, I thought the same thing Weird, weird. Uh, well, listen, we have so much more to learn about this case and about these, I hate to call them kids, but that's what they are. Uh, judge Mary Claire Akers, thank you. I always love the opportunity to talk to a judge, so thank you for this. Thank you so much for having me on. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.